Hey guys, today we are going to talk about this card. Right now, as of the recording of this video, there are no fifth editions in stock on TCG players. Most of the major stores also do not have them. The Ice Age ones, you can only find damaged ones. You're not going to find really good conditions. So let's go ahead and count how many we have. These actually were uncommons. I felt they were commons. I have more. I have a lot of Ice Age bulk and for whatever reason, fifth edition. So play set number one. Right now they are sold out. I saw, saw the price at $5 and then it actually climbed to 10. So maybe it's actually worth $5, who knows. Two play sets and a extra one. So I have a ton of these because I always play them in my EDH decks. I, when I was playing Tiny Leaders, I had them in the Tiny Leaders decks. And I just love the card because Mishar's Bobble is a $20 card. That's the cheapest one on TCG Play right now is 20 bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, six play sets. Now, does this get you 20 bucks? No way, just because so much of it exists. That is seven. Oh, you can't even see it. All right. Let's go here. And then the, another playset. So two extra. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten playsets with two extra. Forty-two. So at five dollars, that's like two hundred and ten dollars. At ten, it's four hundred and although that's incredibly greedy. So let's not even talk about it. So what card does this resemble and why is it going up in price? Legacy is back to being a format. And in modern, Misha's Bobble is incredibly good. Incredibly good modern to the fact it is over $20. At one time, it was $30 as an uncommon. It does have the so actually, interesting lore, Urza and Misa, they were the Brothers War. So they were the two planeswalkers. And eventually, I think Urza won. I don't know if Misa died. But he did get a card later on, although Urza has never gotten a card himself. Uh, the card, I believe, was before planeswalkers. So he, he wasn't a planeswalker. He was just like a legendary card that like doubled artifacts. So back in the day, the, they were... I think it was like Artifact Wars or something. I know both Urza and Misha, their abilities will have to be artifact based. Kind of like Tezzeret, but like way better. You can still find these in bulk at your local game store. You can still find them in bulk at the flea market. You can find these in bulk everywhere because they are the definition of bulk. They are a card that was 15 to 20 cents and now it's Regardless of if it's five or ten dollars, it's not fifteen or twenty cents anymore. It's at least a dollar or two. I have seen some interest as soon as people post it online, it gets bought out. Post online, boom, someone buys it and it's gone. I don't know how they're able to do it because one of the interesting parts about these cards, there's so many of them. There's just so many that I cannot imagine these I didn't speculate on these. These are the ones I found, given how much 5th edition I have. Ooh, I think this one's bent. Nope, it's just light lighting. So given how much 5th edition I had, let's lay out. This is how many of these I, I got at Uncommon. And this is how many Uncommons I have of every single one of 5th edition. And this is how many Uncommons I, ha or uncommons I have of every single uncommon from Ice Age. And I've been playing Magic for a long time, and that's one of the benefits. So let me just go ahead and say this. A lot of older players cannot relate to newer players because when you're an older player and you have access to this, it will never be a problem. Everyone has their baubles, right? Why wouldn't you have your baubles? No one wanted to trade for them. That's the problem. Even if you wanted to get rid of them, who's going to trade for your baubles? Who's going to trade for your force of wills? Who's going to trade for your dual lands? 
it might sound crazy, but there was a time when dual lands were not considered very good because you didn't know that energy or the lands, unlike every other single card game, the lands are actually the valuable card. So in Pokemon, yeah, you have du double colorless, you have, but there's ways that, it's not like people play Pokemon for the energy, right? They're playing for the Pokemon. And magic, it's always real estate, 100% always real estate. And I know a lot of you are critical of what I talk about in Ixalan and how I'm disappointed we don't have new lands. At least new lands, you don't know how they're going to interact. But if we have the buddy or check lands again, I know exactly how much they are worth. Not very much. So one of the major issues for like an older player is like understanding that new players don't have this card. And a spike on this card is actually a terrible thing, right? Uh, I might, maybe we'll raffle off a few of these. Like I have to go in storage. This is the ones I organize. I still have about 50 to 100,000 bulk, which I just, is not organized by set. I'm positive there are bobbles there because it's not like, it's not something that someone take, would take out of bulk. It is the exact definition of bulk. You're not gonna take out a bulk. These are just the play sets I have and I literally have this many uncommons of every single uncommon in 5th edition. I have this many uncommons of every single uncommon in Ice Age because I played it so long. I bought so many collections from my friends who quit. Like if you played during those time Ice Age, that was not a great time for Magic. 5th edition was good, but a lot of people quit. And I would save up school lunch money to buy it and I'll do chores. I worked as a salad bar manager, which was actually kind of interesting. I was 16, I got to manage like other people who were like 21, 22 in college. Uh, one of the people I managed was in the University of Pittsburgh. I was like, oh, this is awkward, but all right, I'm your manager, clean up this mess. Anyway, that is it, bye guys.